welcome back. Uh, I'm here to make beef tenderloin today. Finally, I've always wanted to make beef wellington, and I finally found a good deal at Superstore. This whole thing, seventy-seven dollars. Uh, it is three point nine kg. So I'm gonna try to make beef wellington today. off. This is the piece that we want for our roast. Uh, this piece here is still too big. So just a little bit of fat here. this piece here. Uh, I'll trim off the fat and then I'll use the rest for cooking something. Won't waste it. <laughs> Just leave that there for now. Gotta take off all this skin. And fat. So I've never done this before so <laughs> hopefully this is right. so I don't waste too much meat. Oh, there you go. Easy to rip that one off. <laughs> yeah, so I forgot this piece. This piece is part of that. Cut that off now. Some of this fat I'll keep, partially because it's too hard to take off. <laughs> oh, these are good pieces. I think I can use, make some fillets out of this one. Just cut off the fat. So it looks like I'm almost done here. I think this is uh, probably good enough. Uh, so I only have four people eating today. And then I'm gonna cut, tuck in this part under here. Everybody has about that much. I'll just leave half for next time. Or I can cut this into steaks later. Uh, I'll probably just freeze this. Unless I really feel like eating this again tomorrow, then I'll make some steaks but yeah I'll just cut this in half here all this scrap uh, you can pay the butcher to do this I guess but probably cost you a lot more money or you can pay me to do it <laughs> okay I washed my hands now haven't washed the table but I'm gonna wrap this so just to keep it a more consistent shape so that uh, it cooks more evenly. Uh, all the videos I watched, I couldn't really tell how long to make the string. So I'm just gonna go about a meter, maybe a bit more. Oops. Uh, that should be good. Okay, so this is butcher twine, uh, in case you want to use it. Uh, yeah, so you can see this is the tail. I'm making the tail side today, so I'm just going to fold it over. Um, okay, that actually works. I'll put that. Just leave this piece of string on this side. And then you're supposed to make a loop with this. Oh, that actually worked. Okay.
obviously I didn't estimate enough string, so maybe your arm. You're supposed to just keep going with this piece, but I'm just going to tie a knot here. So I transferred it onto a small tray, this is my smallest sheet, I guess because the piece of meat is so small now. Um, I'm just going to marinate it with some olive oil. Uh, I'll just throw it in the bowl, who knows, it seems about right. Uh, this one I'm not really following any recipe, I'm just, just make it up. Uh, I got some pepper here. You can just use your hands to put it on, but actually, let's start at the bottom. Just pour the rest on from the top. I'll just throw a few of these on there. take it out when it's like you know, 100 degrees then I'll at 100 degrees Fahrenheit and then I'll put on the puff pastry and make all that put the prosciutto and what's the other thing? mushrooms okay so I've cleaned up the rest of the meat this is the other half of the uh, roast so I can cook that another day this was the two side pieces I cut off most of the fat uh, I'll probably freeze that and use it for beef and broccoli or something. Uh, and then I've got three more beef tenderloins here with that other uh, small piece that was on the side. I've got my oven to 100 degrees Celsius, which is about 200 something, 210 Fahrenheit. Uh, I just want to slowly cook this piece up to 100 degrees, which is what I have this set to. So it's at 57 degrees. Uh, we'll see how long it takes to get to 100. Uh, I'll, I'll start making the, uh, the mushroom sauce. Okay, now I'm gonna make the mushroom sauce. I think it's called duck cell. Um, I've got some washed mushrooms here. Uh, I need some of this for the sauce as well, so I'll save some there. But uh, I don't have a food processor, so I'm gonna try using a blender. Uh, it's just going to be finely or coarsely cut, so I'm just going to cut them into small-ish pieces. This is all I can fill on this, and we'll see how it turns out. Nope, doesn't work. Okay, so I'm just going to dice them up really small. It's at 50 grams of butter, but this is all I have, so I don't know if that's 50, maybe less, maybe more, but I'm going to use that because I don't want to. So I'll just turn this to medium heat and throw this butter on there. It seems like a lot of butter. Oh well. <laughs> so I think this is about 300 grams of mushrooms here. Fresh 
sprig of thyme. This one is not that fresh anymore from a, last week, so, so I'll put in two. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then I need some garlic as well. So let's just say this much. Seems like a lot. Eh, a little bit more. About that much. <laughs> Hopefully it turns out okay. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes. Uh, recipe says to add 100 mils of white wine, but I have red wine open, so <laughs> I'm gonna try adding 100 mils of red wine. Hopefully it won't make a huge difference. Yeah, I think that was over 100 mils. That's okay. We'll just let that reduce for another 10 minutes. Okay, so I was just reading the recipe, and turns out you're only supposed to cook the beef for 15 minutes at the beginning, and you, you obviously cook it more after when you put the puff pastry on. So, so I'll take it out now. Uh, it's already at like 106, so I think it'll be overcooked. We'll see though. So that's what that looks like. Um, and then here, this is probably done. I've got, uh, I'll just take this out. You can see the mushrooms reduced down a lot once, they, once the moisture was out. And then uh, I'll get the saran wrap and prosciutto, and we'll wrap the beef. Okay, so now I can start uh, wrapping it. I messed up the timing on that, so hopefully it doesn't turn out that well done. Um, we'll see, so, I don't know, about this big, seems fine. And I've got two packs of this, which is probably too much. See how many is in there. Oh yeah, that's lots of fish in this. Um, the prosciutto, I probably didn't put enough, so I might only be wrapping two-thirds of it right now. Uh, I, was, I was hoping that it would be longer, but this is the best I can get right now. <laughs> So I just want to make this as tight as possible. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Recipe says to put this in the fridge for five minutes to up to half, 24 hours. Okay, so the meat's been in the fridge for a little while and I just realized that I was actually supposed to put on the puff pastry with, uh, with the meat. So I'll do it again here. Okay, so I got this is just flour, Ziploc bag, but it's probably just flour. I don't know if this even helps doing this now. Not, not really the same size, but close. Mm, too much puff pastry. as possible. There you go. That looks, looks pretty good. And 
and I'll put this in the fridge and then we'll make the sauce. I'm gonna cut up some shallots and the rest of the mushrooms. Uh, I guess I'll start with the shallots. Mushrooms just in some slices. Okay, so I'm gonna start sauteing the mushrooms and shallots now. Um, I'm gonna need two tablespoons of butter. This looks good to me. Okay, so it looks like it looks pretty good now. Uh, I'm going to add in some salt and pepper. This is pepper. Some salt. And then I need to add half a cup of red wine. Up and just let that reduce until there's about half the liquid left. Two tablespoons of butter. Add it to this. Oops, wrong one. I also need two teaspoons of flour. I'll just make it heaving. done by now. That one's about half the liquid. So the roux is done. I need half cup of beef stock. Okay. And then four tablespoons of cream. Okay, so for the uh, puff pastry, I'm going to put on some egg yolk. Uh, go two yolks. Back of the knife, make diagonal lines. Right now, oven is set to 200, and I'll come back when it's ready. So this is this was boiling now. I just turned it off, but I'll turn it back on, and then I can add all this. That one. Okay, I'll just leave that to reduce. Just making Caesar salad in the meantime while the beef is cooking. Uh, the pots or the the bowl is not big enough, so I have to use my hands. Okay, it looks like it's pretty much done. I changed it to broil and broiled it for about two, three minutes. This is what it looks like now. Yeah, so as you can see, 
should have done something more with the join there, but that's, that's what it looks like. Uh, I'll let it sit for 10 minutes before I cut it. Okay, and the sauce is also done. Uh, I j had just turned it off, but now I'll just heat it back up again. Oops, wrong one again. Finally ready to cut. Um, this part didn't turn out very well. I could have joined it better. But, and then we also put it in for too long. Okay. It's okay. Like that. Okay. Okay. So that's not bad. Oh, that one's nice. Okay, so that's uh, Beef Wellington. Subscribe, comment, and like. Uh, and give your suggestions for the next video. Comments below. Uh, yeah, hopefully it tastes as good as it looks.